And you won't surrender To the blind leading the blind Hold your breath and save your hate for later Ignore them all, them hypocrites and traitors Mr. Adding Pally! Mr. Adding Pally! Mr. Adding Pally! Mr. Adding Pally, everybody! Mr. Adding Pally! Mr. Adding Pally! They were interesting chords, I think, but still, you know, not the right ones. Who cares, really, right? I care. Really? I'm about to fire a couple of people. <laughs> <laughs> well, try to replace them, because who's this pretty? No one. Who's this okay? <laughs> <laughs> who's this okay as a guitar player? Um, this is really weird sitting here, but hey. Um, Hello, Den. The weird thing is, I think we could fit another <laughs> pair of legs here. <laughs> Not up here. I'm up here. It's, I'm already occupying <clears throat> the space. Hello, people uh, that like things. We are here with uh, some D'Angelico. Uh, actually, I, th I heard it's called D'Angelico guitars. Someone corrected me on that. And why would you call them D'Angelico if there's no D'Angelico? Because someone from D'Angelico said it's D'Angelico. And then he was fired. I think it was the boss. 
and then he fired himself. <laughs> I think you can do this. It's D'Angelico. So, um, uh, I, I don't know. Steve, please tell me if it's D'Angelico or not. I, what do I know? I just play these things. And D'Angelico. I suppose another company that is not named after their founders. Steve D'Angelico? Or no, Steve, Steve Pisani. Actually, uh, I think it was John D'Angelico who made about 1,200 jazz guitars, which are now priced over $200,000 a piece. And the company got bought out, I think, by people from that are behind Arizona ST or something, people with money. And then they said, we love these guitars. We want to bring them back. We want to bring the company back. They're making the jazz boxes, the really expensive jazz guitars by hand in New York. Then they have a US series and then they have the... Uh, Indonesia or Korea series, which is what we're playing here, beautiful guitars. And also the EXDC, which you can see over there, or the EX175, which you can see over there. There's also an EXSS over there on the wall, which is a beautiful guitar. This was my pitch for D'Angelico, D'Angelico guitars. But they're pretty cool and they like, hello, Rafa, Rafa. They're pretty cool and they like jazz guitars and hollow body guitars and acoustic guitars, which is what we've got here. The one that Martin is playing actually belongs to Sebastian Philippi, who was nice enough to stop working on his car and bring us a guitar for this session. A man who we love dearly. A man who we love dearly. To quote another man who we love dearly. (laughs) We love each other dearly all the time, not sexually. This is purely... Well, purely so, anal. <laughs> purely anal. <laughs> anyway, uh, great. Getting back to the guitars, which is tough with these guys around me. The uh, <laughs> Mercer, which is the one that Martin is playing, is a Grand Auditorium model with mahogany sides and back. The Gramercy is the same kind of guitar, exactly the same damn thing with Palisander, which is rosewood sides and back. Clocks in at a mere hundred euros more. The Mercer clocks in at eight ninety nine, whereas the Gramercy is nine ninety nine. They are beautiful guitars with the Fishman in preamp in it which has bass metal and treble and brilliance and a built-in tuner these guitars are now on sale sunday 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 buy them now i don't know they're not um great guitars with brass pickup great guitars with brass brass things brass nubbies brass nubbies and the fishman ink and they they're, they're pretty we have you showed the have you shown the backs they're pretty, we are pretty, you are pretty, everybody's pretty, Everybody goodbye. Goodbye, <laughs> Guita- guitars, buy them, links under the video, they sound great, and also this was, has been, and will always be, Campaign Like Clockwork, with this time with their song, Surrender, Surrender to the Sound of D'Angelico. Also, we should not forget this beautiful Ortega D3333, being tuned with the Polytune clip by TC Electronic. Um, D'Angelico also has a beautiful acoustic bass, which we did not have right here. Hopefully, for some later videos, uh, we want to do more with this beautiful company. Maybe we'll play one of their acoustic basses. This time, it was a beautiful Ortega D3333, played by the amazing Paul Kommelbein. Minel, something something, Artisan series, very expensive but really cool. Palo Santo. Palo Santo wood. Cajon. And a blue microphone, Azul. An Azul? Azul microphone. <laughs> Holy shit. An Azul microphone. <laughs> the absolute I wonder mi- why they call them blue and make them red. Baltic Latvian Universal Electronics. You did not think I would know that. I didn't think there was anything to it. Baltic Latvian Universal Electronics. You made that up just now. Nope. This one actually has been sung into and spit on by James Lebrey from Dream Theater. Lick it. <laughs> Come on. No, it's choking up a bit. Of, you, you, you lick it <laughs> and all of, a sudden, all of a sudden you got like an, an octave range. <laughs> one, one mm. Okay, thanks guys. See you on the flippity flop, whatever that is.